Ja? Mhm, das hält. Perfekt. Cool. Now diving. What we learned so far. So what we're gonna do now, we're just gonna warm up. Right? We're just gonna warm up on the which machine you're gonna use. I'm gonna start using this for now. You have your machine and the other one, I'm gonna use this I'll one. Needles. I'm gonna use. Uh, I'm gonna warm up with the. I'm gonna use the liners for now. I'm not starting with the shader, should I? Huh? Start with the shader. You need to warm up. So now again, this one is a lot thinner, right? You see the difference here. So I'm gonna pay attention when you're gonna take this one up. Actually, let me give you another one. You're gonna see exactly how much you're gonna penetrate here, right? Yeah. So you see how thin it is. Don't I worry about the under, 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 so that's what I have now there. I'm not gonna start with this. Again, this is like like again today is like kind of preparation for this. And next time we know exactly what's going on. There you go. So put that thing on top. So now only to see. So now we can when it, when it when you do lines, mm -hmm. you can flip it over and see look how thin it is, no, right? So you can see how deep you go, right? Yeah. So you're gonna go. You're gonna literally flip it over and you see if you want to to if you want to. Yeah, start with the three. I'm gonna start with the one actually, because I wanna kind of warm up a little bit. And um, can you use the one needle to get stuff out of the middle of my stuff? Yeah, you can do that. Yes, yes, yes. You have the one needle. Yeah, just take the the, the middle stuff out. <laughs> yeah. So. Wow, this is high. Huh? This is a five, this is a three. Alright, so you need the one? That's the one right here. That's the one? That's the one, yes. I'm, I'm using pretty much the same one. Here we are, perfect. How is that? Huh? Can you see it? You want yeah. to help out? No, can you see well, your needle? I can see it, I just don't know, I don't want to break them. You can't break it. It's going to bend it, which is cool because you need to learn with the hook needles to understand how it works, right? I see the way I put that thing for your hand? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's see what's going on. So I'm gonna just kind of warm up. Now again, you see the way I explained last time with the colors, the way we start? So you have the dark first, lighter and lighter. So now I can I don't care. I know that's my darkest and that's my lightest. You see, I didn't even have to think about it. So of course, where is the darkest? You go to light, to dark to light. Okay. Always first one is your dark one. So I'm gonna start with a very light one. I want you to kind of warm up for me to kind of see what's going on, right? And then I'm gonna move to yours. So right now what I'm doing, I'm preparing the skin. And then, you see it? Yeah. There's this paper in it. Yeah? All right, let's, let's have some fun. So, Or not, and then if I need to wipe it, bang, bang, like a, like a ninja, bang, it's right there. Now, people work here, some people have it here, so the way they do it, right, you, you do it like this, and they do it like this, look, and then some people work like that, and then they just wipe like that, right? It's different methods, yeah, no, so I, have, I always hold it like this, I go like this, and it goes back, it's kind of like a magician, look. Punk, 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 
Bam. And then I'm stretching like here. Now if I have to stretch like this, look, it's still here, right? And then I grab it, it's still here. That's why, I mean, again, I'm right-handed, right? Uh, if you do that, then we're gonna, so right now what I'm doing, like, like I'm just warming up, I don't care about it. Look, I'm just warming up my hand. There you go. Nice and slow moves. There you go. So you do this. So basically warm up a hand when you start on a fake skin. And that's how kind of keep your depth perfect. Oh, look, with the music. Look at this. Where are you going with it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So now you keep it right. And then the skin brush, right? So I'm warming up. Because I have to put, I, I'm warming up my hand. And then when I'm not ready, I'm going to start doing some cool designs, right? So that's how you warm up in the beginning. Like you're going to warm up and then you start doing other stuff. But right now, I'm just kind of figuring out my depth. I know it's on the same depth. Huh? Yep. So when you have too much ink, as I told you, you come right here. Fine. There you go. And that's how you do. Like you warm up, warm up, and that's how you find your balance of your like how much the needle goes and like kind of like the how long the movement of your of the hand, right? The, the Yeah, man, now we go with the music. And then if you do that, you can do it in the same place. And you kind of, that's how you learn to go over the same line over and over. Again. Then we'll move your thing for a second here. Because when the tattoo is gonna be, hold on a second, right here. Where is your hand? Let me see you. Perfect, right there. All right, perfect. All right. And that's how you do stuff. Now, I wipe it. And this one, as I told you, the fake skin doesn't wash with the, the fake skin doesn't wash with the, with the green soap. So the whole thing with the fake skin, it's only Vaseline. That's the only one way to clean it. And so on. And now what I'm doing, actually, I'm using very light ink, right? So I didn't go with the light one. That's your lightest one, right? Mm -hmm. So if you want to warm up, yeah, yeah you can go with that. Don't worry about it. No, no, don't worry about it. But you do, like right now, I'm just warming my arm. You see, you see if you look closely here? Mm -hmm. Like it's light, but you can see exactly like the... the... Oh. Yeah. You see the way? But I know the speed. Right now, I don't care about the speed. I'm kind of, I'm looking at my hand. Like, look, look how the clean the line was, right? Look, I don't care about it. I'm just kind of warming up. Okay. Uh, on this one, well, this is different machine. I'm on 6.6 .6 right now, but this is different machine. That one should run on. Uh, yeah. There you go. And the other thing is, right now I'm kind of doing like uh, dotted, dot, dotted line. Mm -hmm. So I'm just warming up, warming up. There you go. That's your warm up. So pretty much during doing this, you're gonna kind of learn your, uh, like when you warm up like this, you're gonna learn the depth of your needles and what's going on, like how straight I'm, I'm going, if my hand is shaky or not. And you do this for a while, and then you can go into real trading stuff, and then you can go faster. So this movement, it's used a lot in a, it's used a lot in a, in a black and gray, and it's called, it's called pen, pendulum. Uh, you see a lot of people going through the whole portrait, like this, the whole portrait, the same movement, bang, 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 the whole portrait, the, whole, the same speed, no more, no less, right? And now, for instance, I don't this, I can come back like this, like a cross hatching. So I'm, I'm learning, look, I'm learning my hand here, right? And I'm moving here, and I'm doing this now. So what happened is, it's exactly the same move, look, but I changed my position, right? 
But it's exactly the same move, straight lines. You see the way they go, really nice and straight? Oh, okay. Well, I'm using a, using a three, I'm using a one. You want a one liner? Yeah, I want to see the I'm stretching, and like so basically right now, I'm doing the stretching on the skin and the movement, right? So that's how you go. Where do they go like from this? And this is kind of like, and then you can start going around. Now I can go from here and the same thing. The one is that one. The number one? No, it's that one. Yeah, it's earlier in your hand. This is the number one. This is number one. But that one is, yeah, try it on, try it on your machine, that one. Why? Because on that one is, actually, no, try it on, I think that one gets longer. On one of them, this is kind of short for me. And that's how you're gonna start um, practicing, like, like basically to learn the curvature of your hand, but with the same movement, because everything is from here, right? Everything is just movement. That's how you out. That's how I said, that, then you try to push it out more. See if you can do it to the, like, did it all the way? Oh, well, there it Only that much, that's what I told you. This needle is not. I can give you another one liner. You want another one, different one? I'll see what this does. Uh, just you can try it, but you, like, it doesn't really hang out that much. The needle, so I can give you, uh, say, I can give you this one. So this one is gonna, is gonna, there you go. Try this one. Try not to this one Yeah, this one goes out a lot, a lot longer. So this one has a very long flow. So, for stuff like this, I mean, again, other books is something, but now we're talking, I need something in the background, and you can see how everything works, right? So you kind of, everything is from my wrist right now, like all these movements, and to keep it the same consistency on the skin. So you kind of warm up, you see what's going on. Well, this one is like deep in the skin. Let me see what the hair is. Show me. Yeah, this is the, this, this is the smallest needles they have. Hold on a second. Every needle is different. They have like uh, they have about like five sizes or six sizes, like diameter of the needle, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they're all different. And then you can find those diameter. You can find them on a, like a magnums or a, usually in a magnum or a liner. The the, the most principal one is a, you're gonna hear about 35, mm -hmm. 0, 35, 0, 30, uh, 0, 0, 25, right? Why the 0, 25 that means is a 0, 25. 025 is a, what would it be, a, 025 is a 06 or something, I don't even know, I'm gonna, 12, yeah, zero to, so, so a 35 is a 12, the gauge 12, it's kind of weird, I'm gonna explain to you that. And then on the needles, you're gonna have a butt pin, long tapered, medium tapered, textured, and so on. So every needle then will have different kind of end. Find your hand, don't, don't. Find your movement, yes, don't, you know. Find your position. You see the way I work? Like my hand, I'm stretching. You want me to go that, like, you want me to keep it like that so you can see what I'm doing? No, I can see. No, like my movement in my hand. Is that better? Yeah. So you can see, you see, again. Yeah. See my hand is here, look. And now, I can go like this. See my movement is here. That's why this one having a bigger, bigger grip, sometimes it less movement, right? I can come like this. Look, in any I can even come like this. There you go, any position. Right? Look at the video what it does. So it kind of moves when I move. So you see the video? It goes on. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So you understand what I'm saying? So that one, you warm up. Right now I'm just moving my hand, I'm, I'm warming up. I, I kind of try to gather depth, the needle, the speed. Right? So when you learn, you can do all day long. Like for instance, one day long, that's how you do the pendulum. And you just kind of different needles, different size, and you understand what's going on. 
for the speed I have right now, it's kind of shattered effect. It's all about dots, but it's okay. Because that's another style you have to learn. But I know my, my lines are very straight. My movement of my, my, my movement of my wrist is very straight, I should say. What, the one liner? It's extremely hard to control. Yes. Yes. And that's why you do this. Right? Try to get longer. Try to try, try to get longer movement. Look, look, look how lo look how long is my movement. Look. With this, with, but again, look with this. Look, look how many needles here. Look at look how many needles here. Check that. Yeah, look at no that that should be good. Look how many needles, right? Look. Look. You see how straight the line is? Yeah. And look how long look how long my movement is, and it's straight, right? Why? Is the wrist and the grip. Now I can go from here, look. And you learn the pendulum, that's what I'm saying. You learn to do this. You just do all this, that's it. You don't worry about it, just do this, change the speed. Try to kind of, uh, try to kind of uh, just go a little bit, like pinch it, because you, you, have to, you have to feel it, you know? Because now if you flip that thing over, you'll see if you went too deep or not. If you guys real skin, you have a lot of ink on the other side, I mean, that, mean, that means already that you've done a, like a blowout, right? Of a line. And that's how this stuff goes. I don't know. Huh? I need, I like it, the curving, like, I don't know if it's just my position. What is your position? Yes, you have different position. And again, don't work like this. You see the way you work it? I can see your hand from here. Don't do this. You see, I'm still on top of it. You see the way, I'm, I'm not like this, look. I'm not doing this, I'm here. So my line is twisted, that's what I'm saying, you see? Involuntarily, I'm doing this. Look at my penetration, look the way it penetrates right, right, right straight, right? Like literally, I'm on top of it. If you really look at my hand, I'm on top of it, not here. Again, if you do this, you drag it. Yeah, if I wanna build up a line, I'm gonna come from here, right? I'm gonna start cutting from okay, here. Got uh, you got it? Yeah. All right, that's what I'm saying, just keep moving your wrist. That's what I'm saying. That's it. It's all from here. Look. Look. That's it. And you can go long. The only one difference is the longer you do it, you have to kind of understand you have to go lower and higher. And that's... Let me see what I mean. No, no, keep doing it. 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 See, put it in there to try to run it. Look. Look. See my needle? Look, look at my tip of my needle. Mm -hmm. You see? You see? And I try to keep it consistent the same. I'm not going deep like this. I'm like on top. Why? Because right now I'm warming up. I need to understand where my needle goes. Kind of bam, bam, bam. That's called pendulum, and that's uh, that is, that's a style. Basically, in reality, is that a style. And doing that, you don't damage the skin, and you look. I create a shadow effect here. So if you look from far away, that's a shading effect. It's a shading, right? You're like raising the skin right now. Huh? You're like raising the skin right now. You're not going deep. Yeah, I'm not going right. Right now, this exercise is for you to warm up your wrist. It's not about going deep. It's just warm up your wrist and observe. Observe the movement, of, like look at the end of your needle. Like I, I can see my needle, like that's what I'm saying. I can see the end of my needle. So I'm paying focus on my needle to kind of be consistent. I mean, principle, I don't need to pay attention because I, I feel it, right? But for you, you need to pay attention to kind of consistent. And you did this for an hour, right? And then when you do the same thing I show you, you move around it, but you don't change really the position. Your hands start moving around it, and you start, look, I can do this now. So it's the same movement I can have it look. I can do this, look, and I can come all the way here. Right? So I'm, I have like, a, what's this, 180 degrees, with only from the same position. But that means I can cover the whole, so I don't need to, like I don't need to, like, because anyway, or like basically, oh, that's one piece of a tattoo. I can approach it for any direction. It's, it's a 180 degree with exactly perfect self movement but with the same depth. The thing is not how you move, you, you have to keep the same depth, and that's the trick about it, right? Yeah. Now, that's for shading, that's for shading. If you, when you start scripting or doing lines, 
It doesn't matter, I can approach it from, from here. Look, I can do pendulum from here too. I can approach it from here, right there. You see? So I can approach it from here now, towards me. How are you ending it though? Because yours are like... I'm not ending anything. Right now, I'm not ending. I know, if I, again, I'm going with the same speed I'm going in. You see, I'm coming out at the same time. You see it? I'm coming in and I'm coming out the same direction. That's what I'm saying. This is practice. That's how you practice. And then again, if you flip it over, it's perfect, but you can see when not this. Yeah. Like that's that's again you're looking at this. Did you pinch that one? Yes you did, man. Right? You got me? So that's skin. This pretty much that's of course you can go a little bit deeper, but that's how you learn. And what happens? Look how short your, your strokes are, right? Look how long is the man. Actually it's getting better. Look at that. So you just kind of, that's what you do right now. It's kind of moving. And that's how you warm up. And then, pretty much this is one of the starts you have to do today. That's it, all day long today. Just don't worry about the depth. Just kind of try to kind of feel it and be in the same depth from the beginning to the end of it. I keep picking it up, that's why. Absolutely, that's how you're training. That's okay, and that's how we're doing right now. It's the same thing for me. I need to, I need to warm up like this, right? So you're just overthinking it. Yep, exactly, overthinking. That's what I'm saying. You have to let it. You have to feel it, right? The machine, like the needles, kind of tell you that I'm going exactly with the same speed at the same depth. When you go deeper, you feel it, or it drags, or you hear it. It's like, oh, okay, it stays there too much. But that's the exercise. When you, when, when, when you can do this perfect. That means you can you you control your needle right and your length is on your length of your of your of your of your uh, whatever the flow whatever it's called uh, the length of the line you choose to do right and it has to be equal all the time like a dance you see a lot of tattoo artists that's how you do you see that and uh, it's like a brush right and then a cross hatching again when you do a shading on the depth it, it, it's pretty much as a cross hatch I need the same thing too. All this work, my man. That's how I like to work on fake skin because you're gonna start. Uh, it, it's about your wrist. It's basically it's your wrist control, your, your your vibration of your. You feel your vibration. You hear your needle. So it's all these elements together. It makes you pay attention to what you're doing. And then when you start controlling that, then you know. If I do two lines here, right? Check this. I do a line here, I do a line here, and then I know I can just feel right in between without paying attention because I know, look, I didn't even go between those lines. And that's what I'm gonna train today for a while. One hour, that's how you do. Just keep doing like this for 10 minutes, just one direction, just kind of move like one direction, just keep your flow with the same thing, just pan, pan, pan. <laughs> just go with the music. Na, na, na. Na, na, na. There you go, there you go. Again, you're dragging towards you, try to do on the side like this. I know you're left handed, try to do like this. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Because you cannot get comfortable to do it in one point. You need to break your wrist or your movements in every direction. And that's what circles does. When you start doing circles, then you kind of, uh, you're flexible in every direction, and then you, you can control it equally. This is actually easier. There you go. Well, there you go, right? And you, you see your stroke is longer on that one, and so on. There you go, there you go. But try to move, you see, now you move your whole wrist. Try to move your, what do you call it? You see what you, you do like this, right? Yeah. Which again, but automatically, look, look at me. When I do this, automatically force me to go deep, right? And come out, because the wrist. When I do this, I'm controlling, like literally I'm telling, again, the needle is your pivot point, like the, sorry, the, the, the little finger is your pivot point, so that one, it tells me, it tells me I can come from here with the same depth until there, I don't care if the, the hand, the, the hand is moving from there to there, the, the little finger, it tells me the depth from there, is that, that's my, like, that's my pendulum, like, whatever it's called, the balance, and there you go. 
and that's the tricky part. And when you do it like that until you understand it, and then you start moving like very slowly, and do it like that in different direction, different, 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 different. Use your pinky. But then I can't. There is a way. There is a way. I don't know about left-handed, but there is a way. If I rest it, then it's look, 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 look. It's a triangle. Look, look at me. You see the triangle right here? Here. Yes. That one, and your your hand here, and then if you leave this one, hold on a second, leave it there, leave it, no, 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 stay, 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 lose your, lose your hand, lose your hand. You feel it now? You can control it, but that's still here, you have one point on your finger. Now if you, if you lift it, you still have two points. You have, you have your, 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 your part of your palm and your finger, right? Look at this, it's like a triangle, look, look, do it like this, Fun. And now you can control it. That doesn't go nowhere. That's how you control it, right? There you go. So you have this point and this point. And now I can I can control it and it tells me where I am having control of the depth. And that's how you don't do it from the wrist like this. You do it from your like everything. Find the one that works for you. You see the one you had earlier? Find that one, like that movement. And practice and then slowly just kind of move, slowly just move, and then you'll understand. Because you need to break the thing. I mean, your wrist, you never work. Like, this is something that any human being doesn't really use it, only if you really need to use it, right? Yeah. I mean, who needs to be, have some control of the skin? A tattoo artist. As in a drawing, you can take your time. The drawing doesn't go nowhere. You can't really do mistakes or in a painting because you can erase it. You can take your time. But on tattoo, it's not. So to keep the same balance and the same consistency, it's all this. That's why circles and all day long, that's how you do. So today, you work on pendulum. And you try to kind of figure out, again, pay attention to your wrist and this. Don't worry about like perfection. Don't worry about straight lines. And I call it like this. I don't know if it's good for you. Hop, try it like this. Look, look at me. I did that, but just to... I don't know, just try like this. When you, if I'm going strokes this way, don't I have to stretch the skin this way? Or does it matter? Doesn't matter. Okay. No, that's what I'm saying, doesn't matter. No, no, uh, again, this is easy, face skin. Right now what you're doing, you need to figure out yourself only to this. When it's gonna go to skin, it's very important because you're gonna, you're gonna affect the stencil, stencil, right? So right now, that's how we, that we're practicing to understand what we're doing. It's gonna take weeks and months. You're gonna figure out what's working for you. Next time we're gonna we're gonna put a stencil and you're gonna see if you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna wipe it off or not. And that's really important, that's how you do. That's the first thing you have to learn. First of all, there you go. Again, you move your own wrist. And you're not gonna have control. You see the way your whole finger goes with it? Where is your control? That's crooked lines, like I know this crooked. Can't and don't focus. It. Huh? No, no, it's here. Look, look. No, but my hand doesn't reach that far. Do it slowly, but do it like this. Like to do long strokes, my like. Do like this. My hands are smaller. Okay, do a smaller thing. Look, okay, look. Look at me, me. To me, well, you're gonna got longer strokes in time, but the whole consistency is just move this, move this. Keep your pivot points between your middle finger and your, on your bottom of your hand there. Do it smaller, doesn't matter. But try to keep, on, just don't focus too much about it. Just let it warm up, warm up, warm up, that's it. And then slowly, it's gonna go, it's, you're gonna have a longer stroke. Okay. But the whole point is the consistency, right? And again, I, right hand is easier. Look at my hand, did you pay attention to my hand? My hand never left, my, show, my, my elbow never left my, 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 my side. Yeah. Right. And again, that controls me. I'm like, everything, this part of the body is paralyzed. Right? Look at this. What's moving? Pay attention, what's moving? Mate, what's moving? Thank you, thank you. Exactly, that's how you do. Again, I'm pressing, I'm stretching with my two fingers there. I can come here. I don't care. There you go. You do zigzags. You don't do zigzags, that's what I'm saying. Try to stay on the same line. Look, look, on the same line. Just do on the, exactly the same line. Just keep doing like this, that's it, on the same line. Don't worry about it. There you go. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Here we are. And now, Keep it like the norm. Do, do what you're doing, and then you bring your... This one will be there, and I have a better pivot. 
you can rely on it. Your little finger, that's that's your, that's your that's your point. That's you cannot allow that one to get out of your the skin, because that tells you the depth. That's like a, I don't know about potentiometer, whatever it is. That's the depth. Now it takes it. Like no, what about it? It's work. But I don't know why you draw. Oh, it's left-handed. Hold on. Let me hold on. Hold on. Let me see how how you hold the machine like this, right? Hold on. How you hold it now? Am I correct? No. How do you hold it? Um, like this? Where the heck is it? These you? two fingers are at the, the back. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Right? That's okay. what I'm saying. So the oh, no, no. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me get you. I'm gonna break. There you go. You see my finger automatically goes back. Look, look at my triangle here. Right? So now, hold on. Like this, right? Look. Something like that, right? Like this, right? Mm -hmm. Alright. Cool. Look. I, I don't know anything about left hand. Look. You see, I never even tattoo my left hand. Look at this. You see what I'm doing? You see what I'm doing? Again, why? Because I, well, obviously with this hand I know. So I didn't even have to, do, I never even tattoo my left hand either. Is that a straight line there? Why? Because I know that's my pivot. Look. And that's it. Look the way I move it. Now I can go like this now. It's crooked as fuck, but I, I, I'm not left handed. So this is your pivot point, man. This is look like a pyramid. Look at, this Look at the pyramid. Look at the pyramid. That's your triangle. That's your pivot point. I just keep moving. Jesus Christ, my left hand hurts. I don't want to break it. Oh, man. But anyway, that's if I can do it, then you can do it. There you go. And take your time. That's you're going to learn in time. And that's things you're going to, like today, that's what you're going to do. And tomorrow, if you don't get it, we start from zero again. There you go. There you go. Now you're talking. Let me see what you're doing there. Oh, wait. Maybe. You got oh, it? If I hold my pinky, that makes it easier. What do you mean? There you go. What did, what did I told you last time about you? You have two hands, man. You can fo you can use one for to, to hold the other. We had that class, right? Yeah. How to hold it. That's how you use your fingers? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Now you're talking about. Uh-huh. Isn't that easier? Okay. You got it? Yeah. Keep doing it. Don't stop. Make sure you just focus on the ego. You feel the depth, you go on the same depth. So keep going and then you can start moving by the straight line. And then you keep going. Not a zigzag, just keep coming out or in. Wherever you go, just keep doing and doing and doing. Do it 10 minutes, then you start kind of shifting a little bit. Without even paying attention, you start shifting, shifting, shifting. There you go, that's the movement. And look at you. Pick at you. You have a long, you have a long stroke there. It's possible, correct? Yeah. Is your finger on triangle points? Yes, it is. It feels easy because that's your pivot point. The little finger, it's your balance. And you can fuck up there. And that's why I gave you that fake skin like this to bend over because that's an arm. Hey. I just didn't have anything to like hold the weight of the machine. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, how we, that's how we learn it. What day is three? This one, but day three? When I, um, when this hand is like holding the pinky, uh -huh. that I have something to like lean on. So there you go. Helps. Did you have that discussion in the first class? Yeah. I say, you will do anything, anything. Listen, I'm holding sometimes, look at me. Sometimes I'm doing this, man. I'm pushing. With that, I'm pushing myself. I'm doing. I'm controlling. Yeah. There's no things. But right now, all this you can use. Anything that is no rule. Again, you're left-handed. I don't know how that mechanism works. But you find it. There you go. And now, perfect. Do it the way you do it. And then you go on top of it. And then you have a straight. There you go. The same movement. Doesn't matter. So you don't go on the side. And it's easy. You look at this. Right? If I go like this, it's still the same. That's the movement. And now, we go back to the discussion. Having a bigger grip or not. Now you understand why a bigger grip. Uh, a bigger grip gets you less movement. But longer stroke. The smaller the grip, the smaller the grip, the more you have to force it, right? And then you're gonna start losing. So a lot of people use big grips, even bigger. I mean, this is, and then because you can control it easier, and you you don't you don't break your wrist over time. It's less movement from your wrist on your moves, but it's longer strokes with the same with the same depth. So this is really important too. I might try that later. Yeah, no, no, just keep doing what you think. Phenomenal. There you go. And that's why I'm using like light skin, like super light ink right now. Only to kind of see what's going on and understand what's going on. You got that thing? You can go fast, you can go slow. 
All right, now I'm starting some cool stuff. Let me do one like So now I have something there. There you go. Don't worry, don't panic. Listen, it's fake skin, man. Fake skin. Day three. Day three, Daytona. All right, let's do a night here. Now, though I don't only really shedding, I can see already where my eye goes. Look. I'm gonna tattoo an eye right now. You see the way I push my finger? Look, I'm even using my finger to move stuff. I'm gonna do an eye. Everything, you see the same movement I'm using? Yeah. That's all you need. The basic is the same. There you go. And then I'm gonna do a thing. I just have to get my head trained to like be in this position. It's Absolutely. Never and again, you never done it, so what's gonna happen is you'll have to warm up. So this every day that's a warm up because again, don't, I don't just expect to do what I'm doing, but I expect to, to do what I'm telling you to do. That's all. There you go. You got it. You got it. Time. Don't worry, just focus on one movement for now. Just when you do this, keep doing that one and down, just keep moving on, until you understand the depth. Yeah. Right? And that's how it works. Because this, if you go light, then you can create a lot of people do that. Like you see them doing freehand with a shading, like they just start doing weird stuff, and then they see shapes in the design, and then they can create whatever they want. Again, you're using a one-liner. One-liner, it's, it's, it's nearly impossible to control. So that's what happens right now. Yeah, that's how you do it. So I'm doing an eye there, I'm going to go on the block, and that's it. All that shading is like a nice base. So that kind of technique you can use in anything. But this is more like a realism, I should say. But again, what we talk, realism is the most complex form of tattooing. The laziest and the, the easiest is traditional, right? Everybody starts with traditional, that's the laziest way. People that stop on doing traditional, they can't learn anymore, right? We don't do that. You should be able to, uh, any realist tattoo artist should be able to do what the traditional does. No traditional artist can ever do what the, they don't understand it. They don't have the knowledge. They can't do it because they don't have all these techniques we learn. They don't work with those techniques. But they can talk about how, 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 what we do. Why? Because they don't have a clue. They don't even know the terms. They don't even mind everything, right? So when you start controlling all these things, to do traditional is like nothing, it's like zero. You can do it closing your eyes and sleep, and you can do with your left feet, you should be able to do a traditional tattoo. Yeah. Right? Because we have different movements they don't use. They focus on two things, do a straight line. In 20 years, they're still trying to do a straight line. With a seven liner, eh, it's easy, it's easy, lemon squeezy. None of them can do a straight line with one liner. Why? Because they don't have a clue. It's cutting, it doesn't have any, any catch, any drug. It's like, it's butter. They don't understand that thing either. Right? Again? Do zigzags. Do zigzags. 
What did I told you to do? 10 minutes to do the same movement. What are you doing now as for 2 seconds? Zigzags. There you go, there you go, keep doing that. But what you do when you do that, just move in, look. Mate, right? you start from here and just keep going. Either you go that way, so now because you control it, why? Because you have to see if you can still keep it straight, like a straight line when you start moving, right? Again, when you start from one direction, you come out, and then you have to start from another direction, come out there, so it's all straight lines. And that's day three of learning. And this is nothing, this is only to kind of introduce you to all this stuff, and then over and over we keep doing and we're doing. That's a warm up. When you start warming up the same thing and drawing, you warm up by doing drawing, or like circles. On this one, you warm up by doing this, the pendulum, you kind of, because you understand the depth of your needle. And when you control that, you're gonna have a nice, clean lines on one stroke. With the same depth. The problem is, it's not, it's not the line to control the same depth. That's the most important, man. Well, you can feel it. Of I course. I wasn't paying attention to that. That's what I told you. You have to, I told you earlier, you, you're gonna feel the needle. Like, yeah. if you go a little bit deeper, it, it's you gonna- feel it. Yes. I was paying attention to more what it looks like. That's why. Well, I told you when at the beginning of the classes, don't worry about it. Just do what I tell you. Don't focus on this. Just focus on your wrist, focus on this, and listen, and don't focus the line straight. It's, it's gonna come by its own. Of course you can feel it. When it goes too deep, you can feel it. When it comes too out, you can feel it. Because it doesn't have the same consistency. Now, when you have a cheap machine, and you start doing that, for, for right now we're doing, it's perfect. But when you do that, and the machine is inconsistent, you don't understand why, right? You don't know it's the needle, it's me, it's the hand, because you don't have a clue. And that's the problem, like when it's people start tattooing with something really cheap, let's say, and it's consistent, like your machine is very inconsistent, you know, but it's good for practicing because it warms up your wrist and you need this cheap machine to break. You don't want to spend a lot of money to work on face skin on a machine which is going to break it. But you need to understand the difference between one and the other. It gets easier? So anyway, people, who's watching? I don't know, we have two cameras around. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have this every day. So every day we're gonna start filming. And if you're gonna follow me, follow her, follow YouTube, follow Instagram, follow TikTok, what's gonna happen is that we're gonna have classes live and people that wanna learn, they can understand and learn with us. My name is Chris German. I've been tattooing for 26 years and maybe right here. Maybe. Maybe. Tattooing for? for Three days. Three, three, three days. This is your three, this is your third day. Yeah. This is your third day. Yes. So we start from zero, and um, we're gonna keep doing every day. We're gonna go live every day. So make sure you guys you follow, and you can keep up the way I learn and the process I'm learning. Why? Because I I'm not learning traditional or drawings and stuff like that. Yes, we're gonna do drawings. We're gonna do paintings. We're gonna do everything. But we really are, we I'm teaching the real core of how it takes to do a tattoo. We're gonna train on all the styles, but right now, day three, pendulum. Just move your hand, guys, just that's it. Look at this, that's it, that's what you have to do. And now we talk, triangle, finger, pinky, bang, and bang. That's it. And then everything comes together. And if somebody, doubt that how good they are and thinking they're traditional and they're amazing, pick up a one-liner and tell me how amazing you are. <coughs> so, any haters out there, just keep your mouth shut because you don't have a clue what you're doing. But if you want to learn, follow and enjoy because it's better to know the styles than to know only one style and be expert on it. So the base of any tattoo is the same. When you can do one thing, you can do all the things. So now what we're doing, we're learning how to machine works, depth and the principles of understanding the machine, the balance and why. But like somebody start learning very, very early, like right now, you have to understand that you need to put hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours on warming up your wrist, understanding what you're doing. And to be a good tattoo artist, you need at least 10,000 hours to understand what you're doing.
Now, if you want to do only one star, for instance, then you don't need that much. I can teach may, maybe right here to Tato Traditional in uh, two weeks. And we don't do that because then she's going to end up thinking that she's a tattoo artist. No, she's a tattooist there. And we, I don't teach tattooists how to tattoo. I teach tattoo artists how to become artists. So we're going to have painting classes, drawing classes, sculpting classes, any style of tattooing, and so on. Any questions, you can leave text and messages and so on. And eventually in time, I'm going to put classes up and we're going to see exactly what's coming on next. But right now, we're just working for a week or two or three for May right here to, for May B right here, to get her things together. And what's going to happen once in a while, we're going to have people in the studio, they can learn with us. Once every two weeks, probably, they can bring their tools here and we're gonna do a, a big class for everyone for free. Or maybe not. Or maybe not. Or maybe not because it's not like that. But what you can pick up on one day is gonna save you months of struggling. So, guys. Don't be shy, leave comments, follow, enjoy, and don't be ugly, because if you leave back comments, I know where you live. Idiot. Ooh, oh, do you find something? Yeah. Oh, that's cross hatching? Oh no, I'm just doing mine, but this one, this area, this one area that I did right now, I'm not mad about it. You're not mad about it? No. Oh, you figure out something? Yeah, the flowers is going to be deep. Now I can like pay attention to how it feels. Yeah. Thank you. Exactly. I told you. Pay attention. I'm telling you. Know what you're doing. Yeah. Exactly. There you go. There you go. And I like your finger. Yeah. I like the way you, you see them. You have your triangle. You see what I told you about? You have your triangle right there. Thank you. That's you have two pivot points, right? Mm -hmm. It's easy. Now with other finger, you can control other finger, so you can have different types of movements. So yeah, we are on YouTube too, we're gonna have a lot of films on YouTube, and again we're gonna go live. Usually on YouTube is gonna live all the time when we start doing it. The classes we wanna share because there's really, really private classes that secrets I don't, I don't give out. That's for people that, that's only maybe is gonna have those secrets. And we keep it in the house because everybody, every artist have to have their own secrets, the little things we do. But yes. Hey, and doesn't matter for how long I'm tattooing too, 20, 26, 27 years, I'm still training man, I'm still practicing, I still use fake skin, why, for the same thing, because doing this you're gonna figure out different techniques and you're gonna understand through time why and how, doesn't matter how good you are, trust me you're not that good, you can be better, trust me, everybody can be better, so what happens that, we practice, doesn't matter how good you are, you practice, once in a while you warm up, if something doesn't come on, you go, you take your face skin, you tattoo for 50 years, who cares? Take your face skin out and practice. If you think you're too good for that, well, guess what? Some kid is gonna come and take your job in two days. Why? Because you are not able to understand that the industry is moving and you have to move in with the industry. And why? Because that's how we do. And the more you know, the easier it gets. So no haters out there try to explain how it is because yes, I'm practicing every day a little bit. It's not this, I'm practicing circles or so on, so on, so on. We don't sleep, we don't stop, we don't skip a bit. And because I work hard, I don't want anybody to pretend to say something. Because penguins, they have nothing to say. People, they have nothing to say, sit on their benches. All this hate, I'm better than you, well, tough shit. Doesn't go nowhere, my friends. You can stay better in your village and be better for your people around you. Not internationally. There you go. Look at that little eye I did there. Look at that little eye. Right? Look at the little clean lines. What do you think about that? Right? How? Don't, don't you worry about it. That's how. Now, that's my warm-up. So now I know if I do that small like this and fast, I can do a big one. 
Look at the little eyelashes. Why? Because it's a safe movement. You need the glasses? You go too close to the you go too close to the thing. No, I'm serious. No, I'm serious. No, I'm serious. Do you see me going that close, man? No, you need to learn. Listen, you need again. You need to learn and to observe. Again, for this, for this, what you're doing, you need to just move your thing. Look, I, I didn't go this. To see the dots. I and I'm blind. You know I'm blind. You know I'm blind, right? Okay, so okay. I don't need to go. Why? Because I know. Just keep doing this, man. Don't focus. Don't, don't worry about it. That music in the background is good too. It keeps your rim. By the way, I made that music. Because I'm a musician and doing free time. A very bad one, but I am. Ooh, ooh. Not bad. Oh, wait to see when I'm gonna do paintings, man. Yeah, so probably slowly, like, we'll take some people in to hang out with us for a day or two, for a day, to kind of understand what we're doing here and how we work. So when you work from light to dark, I mean, then that's how you build depth and stuff, right? So already I know that it looks like a face, so you can start doing like texture here. There you go. And then we're gonna teach you sculpting, what, what sculpting does. But some people don't have a clue about sculpting in their tattoo. Look at that bad boy, how nice it is. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I see you move your whole wrist again. I, I paid attention. Am I? You drag it towards with your wrist. You're doing like this. And why? I told you. The wrist is good for different things, but when you do this, listen, the wrist is good for this. Wait. This way I'm not. Listen. The wrist is good for this, right? When you do a curvature line, you have a nice line, right? For instance, start from here. Yeah. Look, I need to use my wrist. Right? I'm using my wrist. When I do stuff like this, it's this stuff. Like there is time when you need to move your wrist, don't get me wrong. I'm not moving it right now. No, right now no. Oh, when I was like up here and stuff, yeah. It got easier, right? Yeah. You try to hold it like this? See how that works. There you go. Why? But then I can't, I don't have enough weight. Well, there you go. You know why? Because sometimes you do this, look, mate, mate, you have your hands here. Somebody, like the guy jumps and moves, you're gonna stab yourself with the needle. I've already done that. Yeah, and it's okay, you can do that with this ink because it's, everything's clean and it's not this. But that's what I'm saying, right? It's really, important. there you go, there you go. Just things and things, man, that's, that's why, the, I, again, I'm right-handed, so it's different. And you can lay down like here. Oh, well, that works. Look at this, look at, look at this, look at this. You see? Put your hands like this, like a V shape, like this. Put your oh, yeah. There you go. Now put your. That was that line when I did that. Show me. All right, it gets better. Look at your Scooby Doo. All right, look at those things. There you go. You see that thing over here? You see the difference? Look at those. Yeah, look at that thing. You see them? Everyone goes from the beginning to then. Bang, bang. That's good. That's very good. Doesn't matter, you just started, what do you want? Yeah. I should be worried, me not having consistent. But you got something there, like comparing to all of them, you did got to the ones that, so when you see stuff like this, again, pay attention, don't worry about lines, because it wasn't voluntary. Yeah. And if it's the whole, what did I do? Okay, nothing, that's what it is, right? Guys, working with one liner, it's super, uh, super tricky. And what's tricky about it, is it guys, you're gonna say it doesn't forget. Now, 
when you're gonna go too deep, you're gonna have a blowout. And that's the misconception of micro tattoos. People say, oh, blowouts. And usually the people that do traditional, why? Because they don't have a clue about it. Yeah, you can't do a blowout if you, well, sorry, with the liner it's very easy to do a blowout, but if you know what you're doing, you have expertise, then you can do a blowout only if the client jumps because he drops his phone and then he moves and then you do a blowout. But if you really know your movement, huh? Look at those little lines. And you're gonna practice lines, parallel lines, straight parallel lines. Super straight and super parallel. There you go. You drag it. Here we are. That's me right there. Yes, man. Right now I'm practicing my little lines. And to see my hand is shaking, and it's not. And yeah, guys, we're just gonna have like theories with uh, we're gonna have theories with uh, we're gonna have theories with uh, needles, inks, how, why, where, this. This is gonna be a, a year of a. Uh, videos and if you guys follow pretty much every second every day we're gonna post up we're gonna go live and you can grow with us because everybody needs to learn and I'm not shy to teach again stuff that people should know private stuff well 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 you can you can you can book a day or a two days hanging out with us for money and then we go you can hang out with us and see the real secrets we talk about it because that's we don't give them up for free. Na, 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 na. Cross hatching. I'm gonna teach about cross hatching too. Cross hatching is very weird. You was in the drawing, and I'm doing that right now. There you go. Look at those little lines, Ninja. You see how fine, look at those. You see how fine they are, how clean they are, how parallel they are freehand. All right, I'm gonna take a break. I wanna pay attention to maybe that. Make sure you follow her, man. Cause she's on Instagram right now, doing her live videos there. And I'm not on Instagram, doing not doing my live videos. And let me focus more on her right now. I do talk more, I'm just focused. Yeah, she talks more. She's gonna be answering questions and stuff, but she's just really, really focused. Uh, that's good. Cool. Let me push it more so people on YouTube can see more. There you go. That's not atrocious. Mm -hmm. Show me that. Are you using the gray, light gray? Yeah, I have a little bit of one too. Let me see. All right, I really like those though, man. Look at those. Look at those. Look how clean they are. You see what I'm talking about? That's kind of cool. Those are cool too. Look at that. Look at those thin lines there again. Really cool. If you really focus on them, you have like some of them that you capture them perfect. But look from the way you started. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? What's that, like half an hour? That was also a different um, <coughs> needle. But then got a bigger needle and see now that it's even easier. Yeah. Well, the bigger needle is even easier. That's what I'm trying to tell you. With the one liner, it's, it, 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 because it stays nicer, right? Don't stop. Because we need to, we need to focus on these.
camera on YouTube too. There you go. There you go. You're moving a whole wrist. Where is your where is your pinky? Where is everything I told you about, man? My pinky was holding it. Yo, you were flying. Hold it. You're doing this. Are you kidding me? I saw you. your finger wasn't even there. It was, wasn't there like catching unicorns. What are you doing? That's what I was doing. Yeah, you was, it wasn't there. It was right here and that was... Uh... Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Now, I know. Hold on. I know why. Don't worry. Go on down. It's easier now. There you go. That's way easier. That's why I gave you this. To understand when you work on an arm, how inconvenient it is, right? It's easier now, right? Yeah, yeah, Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So, there you have it. I just want to give you that in front of the director head for two seconds. Give you a clean sheet of that one. You see, you have a lot. That you, that you know that you have to fill up. I just want to keep the fold like leave, leave it like this. Like no, no, keep doing because I want to keep down like to put it to show you like what happens to the mount from now. So that's your first three days. The second day, we you know we done the second one, and this is the third day, right? Yeah. And what you can do right now in between with the same technique, stop for a second with the same technique, you can start applying from there to there. Right? Pam pam pam, you start filling in the same thing you see. So that's a shading, that's how you use it. Or in between the lines there, pam pam, or even that. So your mission will be like tang 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 tang. Now for now, just look, look at you. Nice. Well done. Is the way you hold paper? That's what you're doing? Why? Because you don't see what you're doing. There you go. Mm -hmm. Try to drag it from one line to the other. Try to kind of, there you go. All the way down. Down, down, down. There you go. From, no, no, from that line to that. Fun. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Then I reached out the line. Don't worry. But try to kind of go mission, like. Okay. And again, we go back, huh? See the way hold here? Mm -hmm. Try to hold it like this with us. Hold on a second. There you go. Perfect. Now you can still have your pinky. Right? Is that worse? No. Okay, go back to the other one if it doesn't work. Oh, I thought you said is it worse? Oh, no. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it doesn't. Okay. If it doesn't, just go back to the other one. Like, always try to find, like, what we do right now is try to find things, you know? Uh-huh, uh-huh, you see how you automatically think you went to the other? Perfect. Look at you, look at you. There you go, there you go. What are you doing right now? Shading with one liner. Bang! You learn how to do a line, unshading, unconsistency on the third day. So it's bad that I have to get that close? To what? To the skin. Like your face? Yeah. First of all, you're straining your eye. Second of all, you cover it, you, you put a shadow on it, and you shouldn't be that close either. Why? You gonna ask me why? Do you know why? Why? Because you bring on people's open skin. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. 
No, it's cool what you're doing, don't worry. That's why I'm saying glasses. That's why I wear, I, I mean, I'm blind as fuck. If I don't wear proper glasses, I can't see anything. So. Put those glasses now for two minutes seconds. Why? Because those are the disturbed. Not that they were. Those glasses. Oh, those are. Well, you have the opposite problem. No, 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 no. Those are just some fun things. Okay. It's just some sort of crap. Yeah, that makes it worse. Okay. Well, from far away, I mean. Okay, cool. So you only have to figure out your glasses. For now, you're cool, but you're going gonna to destroy, like, first of all, your back. You see your back position here? You see? There you go. You yeah, but then I can't see. That's what I'm telling yeah. you. I, for now, you're okay, but you're going to figure out your glasses. Why? You're straining your back or everything, and, and you're just yeah, think about them and think about back in, in the future. What's gonna happen? You're gonna still gonna be that way for 30 years, and you, you're gonna you're gonna drop posture. You're doing good, yeah? That's a good posture. Perfect. That's good. That's good. That's good. Can you see better? I can still see, it's not as good. Well, you need glasses then. Make sure you, in the future, you pay attention to that. You can't go too close like that, right? Because you're gonna breathe over the open skin. One, two, the blood can get into your eyes. Right? What happens? The person who ate, he got it too. Shading. You see it on a shading. Now, <clears throat> to those. Again, hold on a second before you start. One goes like this, one goes like that. Try to go from different directions. Okay. Right? Try to go from line to line. Uh -huh. You can move around. Again, this is thing you move your chair around. If that's the case, you, you can move around. Like the client said, you can move. Don't worry about it. Like, I mean, you're not constrained. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay, no zigzagging, you yeah. don't keep your line straight, I know what you're doing. Okay, try like that, perfect. Your V has to be wider because you're gonna stop yourself. There you go, there you go. Why, wow, you need light and you don't wanna stop yourself. Go more with the needle in there. Push it all the way to the needle, you, you don't put. You don't have enough control right there. Doesn't matter, try it. Oh, which one? Mm-hmm, you Slow, you're gonna stop yourself like this. That's what I'm, there you go, there you go. That's what I'm saying. Try to work. Even like this. Listen, people stretch like this sometimes. You know? There you go. Uh huh. You get it? Easy. Why? Because you use those. Hey, your hands is part of the tools. Your hands are machines. That's part of the tools. They're tools. Techniques is what you learn now. That's a technique. Well, it's a technique to hold the fingers, but that's just tools how to. You done it again? Pay attention. So that doesn't forgive him. Battle scars. Mm -hmm. Which one is uh, easier for you? For now, this one dragging down, up and down, or the left and right? Left and right. Alright. Are you controlling it nice now? You see? Man, you learn a lot in one hour. Jesus Christ. You is uh, darker. Why do you think it's darker? Do you slow down? Do you go deeper? Yeah. Thank you. Which one? Slow down or deeper? Do you slow down the machine or the wrist movement? 
So again, what makes it light and dark? What makes it is the deepness and how fast you move your machine, right? Mm -hmm. If you stay too long, let's say if you go slower, if you stay too long in the same place, let's say, obviously push more in kin. So you guys, the faster you go, the lighter it goes, right? Mm -hmm. Now again, if you, if you, you can speed up the machine and then it gets even darker or deeper. But then again, you don't want to go deeper because you're gonna, there you go, there you go. Perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. There you go. Look at you, you're controlling the lines from one line to the other. It's kind of like a flick. You have to kind of flick your... There you go, there you go. Don't worry. No, I saw you doing, I saw you doing. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You, that's gonna run over time. You got better, I mean, one hour, you just already like you master something. There you go. Okay, that's okay, and that's, that's how shading works. There you go, you, now you learn shading without even knowing. Mm. That one, that one, it, you have to come from there. That one, where do you start this one up and down? Yeah, so this one, you have to go like this one, right? You didn't do that movement, right? You start from there, yeah. there you go. There you go, that's the thing, it's perfect. Uh-huh. Nice, nice. You know it's the hardest part to control very to control the step deep, deep depthness to control shorter lines. It's funny. Con shorter lines they're easier to pack up. That's not okay. 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 Yeah. Perfect. Just don't look at this square. The other three, not that bad. Well, don't worry. I don't expect anything. Actually, I'm very, I'm very, very happy the way it works. Sure. Yes, now, you see the way you go like this? Going down the opposite way like now, like this, right? You're gonna see, that's how you learn cross hatching, and you're gonna see how darker it gets, right? So now it goes like this, that one goes like this, you see the way it goes like this? The opposite, right? Yeah. So that means cross hatching. This one went like this, you have to go down, and so on. You'll this see what it, yeah. Yep, and you just go against the grain, yes. So now you'll see, now you're gonna learn the depthness like, how it goes to, the, to approach it. Hey, so it gets darker. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If I'll be you, stop for a second, don't stop me. No, no, go back, go back, go back, go back. Move the first thing a little more there. Now one more there. Now one more there. There you go. Perfect. Why? You have more light, you don't stop yourself. It may be harder oh, in the beginning. You have more control too. Absolutely. Why? Now you can flick it longer, you can do longer strokes. So when you start from the beginning to learn, learn the good way, right? Yeah. Because don't pick up bad habits. Well, that's on here. Right? Well, my head, I don't know why I assume that when you have smaller, you have more control. But then you, all the weight is here. And then what happens? You have more error to stab yourself, to the mistakes. You don't have light control, and so on. So all these bad habits we eliminate from the beginning, okay? Okay. Perfect. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Damn. Move your hey, move your whole chair. Why don't you? You're gonna pull out the chair, man. Don't be lazy. There you go. Move your chair. Stand up and move your chair. You can. Again. There you go. Yes. There you go. Why? Yes. You, can, you know what I'm saying? You can't do that and uh, if you sleep, you're gonna do a mistake. You're gonna do a mistake. Well, up. Stand up. Stand up for one second. One second. Like that. There you go. You're gonna do a mistake and you're gonna fuck up that room. And that client is gonna sue you. First day, right? Move the chair. Listen, you see the way I have legs here? You can go like this. Look, look at me. Look at me. 
I, I don't care like that's all I read. That's not as long you you can do whatever you want. As long you don't somehow sleep and it's gone. So it's all about the perfect control, the same control you have to have in regard to the position you are. That's your people. Thank you. It's like a pyramid, man. Right? So you see the lines are straight, up, mm-hmm, perfect, hey, try to make it a little bit longer, it goes from one line to the other, perfect, there you go, you have shading, clean it, and then start another one, you have shading, now you can start with different things, do the same, uh, or again, you see like this one, the way you have that one? Try to follow exactly the same lines now, or pick any line and then try to do like parallel lines but the same like this. And you see now, yeah. But straight? No, no, you see like this, the yeah. way this one is curved? Yeah. Try to go same curvature, just kind of do the same pendulum now. The you know, pendulum is straight, but you can go like this. Oh, okay. So the movement is always like this, but you can twitch it, like if that move, you can do the, yeah. Can I start bottom up? Whatever you want, as long as There you go. Oh, look at you. Uh-huh. Perfect. So, this is going to be the music for classes in the background with the rhythm. So, when we talk, you can put your headphones and then you can do it. No, but it has a good vibe to it. It's not like stressful. It doesn't have like, it's not overly beat, like beady. Yeah, I know, yeah. It's, it has a nice rhythm, you know? I make good music, man. What I said, I make music earlier, but I lie. I'm being humble. I lie, I'm a liar. Okay, so I'm going to do this one. Okay. Now I can do this one. If you control one liner like this, you'll put you for life. How beautiful is that shading? Now, now if you're gonna be darker ink and you go in the beginning, like on the bottom or whatever you see, you can do a nice transition. So you start there and, and it's very, so darker light, 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 you kind of come out a little bit and you have a really smooth transition on the shading. That is cross, I did cross hatch that. I know, but that's you what I'm saying. Now you got, now? No, no, now you got like okay, darker, darker ink okay. and you kind of start from the, like just kind of very smooth. You're gonna have a really nice, you're gonna see the transition from dark to very light. That's how you work. That's how you, that's exactly what shading. Now you learn how to shade with one liner and make transition. Now, you know how to do it. So, should I go all the way from top to bottom? Do you? You want to take a break? You do your one. Take one. Today, that's what you're going to be doing, man. Just figure out shit. You're going to come back. I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to look at it. I'm going to look at it. Okay? Okay. If you want another face skin, if you want to have a good stuff, I can get another one, but I don't think it's going to be right now.
that the top clip. Oh, like. Well, we know, we know a lot of them, yeah. So, you have a layer of, uh, you have a layer of, uh, thing which you can't really see what's going on there. I don't see it, you definitely don't see it. You see what I'm saying? You see the cross hatching? Darker, it's darker there. Nice. Darker on the bottom, perfect. That's, so now you're gonna start doing that, you see? If I wanna put a shadow from this, from there, that's what I do, you start shading, shading, and you get like a nice depth. Yeah. Right? When I got here, mm -hmm. I went faster, so that's why I went darker. Not necessary, you went faster, you went deeper. Again, speed, I'm fast, I'm slow, I'm deep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to add a chair? This one goes low. Yeah? Yeah, I'll try it. Oh, no. Ooh, that was good. Woo, that was good. There you go. Stand up. There you go. Fire? You wanna go higher? Uh, no, I'll try it. I'm gonna get it, I don't care. Shit, like, Anywho, since he's in the bathroom, how y'all doing? I'm doing good. darker here so it looks like it's shaded so but it's not on purpose I'll get it 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 I'll move on to a different piece we'll do come to the eye it's okay it's fine it's fine we're good It's not that bad. That's, honestly, I mean, I don't have a reference, so to me, it's not that bad. My angle isn't straight, so I know that's probably affecting it. 
like my, I'm not like holding the pen straight. So, but because I'm shading it, I guess it doesn't have to be straight. So it's good that it's angled. So I think I'm fine. Shaded this eye, so we're gonna see what it looks like without this much. Sorry. Oh, yeah. No clutches could be doing. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It gets easier and easier, man. It doesn't get any harder. But you got confused in between. Don't don't worry about it. But it's all practice. That's why when you start, when you start, when you start. The, Once you do it, becomes nail, natural. Yes, that's a, so. Those you nail that technique, right? Yeah. But why it's important when you go in and out and all this stuff, right? And now try to do a clean line with this how easy it is. Well, use both hands. I want to see how easy it is comparing to the first day, right? Like straightforward? Yeah. Mm. This is easier to hold it like this. Do it like that. But then you're so gonna my hand like naturally this, does try that. Like this, 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 this. Try like this. There you go. Doesn't matter. That's there's no rule. But I don't know how you work. There you go. You see? Clean! Let's try it this way. Try the way you want. But have your finger more more open. Yeah. Because it's more right. less less probability to stab yourself. Again, it's not how you control it. The client is gonna move. The client needs it. The client is looking at the phone, it's moving. Yeah. Right? And you control it. Okay, see that. Hmm? Well, it's easier now, even with the line, right? Yeah. Yeah, it feels better. Yeah. Then you can change the machines and see the difference. Or again, needle, different needle. And you get this. Now, when you do the shading, when you do it with a bigger needle, it's even easier. And you have more coverage. But then again, when you master one liner, you put you with any single needle. Sure do Oh, damn, now I don't like it. Huh? You forgot already? No, no, no. Now I like. This feels better. Okay. But I can't. Jesus Christ, put your finger there. There you go, man. I know you have small hands, but it's, that, that's just from the... There you go. But then I'm way more shaky, like... Yeah, like that. Right. Look, look, look. Look, right. when you do... Look, you see the way you have it? Yeah. You can push things. Like, you can push with your needle. You do, you... Yeah. There you go. And if you move this one, hold it, hold it where you have it. All right, cool. And now you just move it, put your needles in, and you start moving, like with the thing, and you keep going and going and going, right? Okay. You see what I'm saying? You control it, you have control. And I can't see, like, anything. Find your, find your finger, don't worry about it. Find, find the, it's nothing right or wrong right now. Right now, it's nothing wrong, you're just discovering yourself. But your lines are nice. I'm consistent. You see the way you go in and out, like consistent with the needle? There you go. Look, look at that line. Perfect. Mm. Just try new stuff. Yeah, try new stuff. Again. Yeah, there you go. There you go. It just doesn't feel like natural. So like... Doesn't matter. Whatever is natural for you. But then again, you have to understand this is nothing. When you have a stencil, you're gonna figure out that you're not gonna wipe the stencil off. So you're gonna literally you're gonna start. Yeah. That. So that's what right now. Just try everything and just do. But I'm saying you have to be aware. The only one thing you always have to have a gap in between so you don't stab yourself and you have light. It's like right now you let the light going in. There you go. And try to move one finger with the other. Wait to see. There you go. How nice that line is. Right? Yeah. 
I guess left to right is like that is a lot easier for me. Listen again, I don't know about left hand or is, but so you have to find your own ways, yeah. right? But in the end, you're gonna be mastering everything, right? Yeah. But right now you kind of break it, and tomorrow you're gonna be like, oh, okay, that works better, and keep tomorrow you're gonna do the same. Now, when I told you about the pendulum movement, oh, look at you, look at you, look at you. I saw you doing. Yeah. Now, when you do the pendulum movement. For the shading, with this how nice you're gonna move it. And it's gonna be like, wow, this is I nice. feel like that eye is actually okay. Huh? I feel like the eye is okay. For the third day? Yeah. yeah, it's phenomenal. But don't be happy. No, I'm just like happier than I was like an hour ago. Yes. Well, an hour ago you were, yeah, absolutely. You are like skyrocketing right now. Proud of you. Proud of you! Is it bad to go from up, up, down to up? No, there's no rules. There's no rules. There's no rules. No rules. No rules. Whatever works for you. As long the end product is what you're looking for, that's the only one rule. There's no rules in this, man. Right? Now again, you got in your comfort zone, start working on this direction. Here, why? Because it seems that you're kind of leaning over and you got your comfort zone. Get out of your comfort zone from there now. Yep, there you go, there you go. Maybe it's harder than me. It's okay. You want me to push it higher? Yeah, it's low enough or high enough? You need to go good. higher? Or? That's really important too, you see? Now your position is better, you see? You're forced to stay nice. There you go. And slowly, you don't have to have it here. Now, you have those lines. Either you go long, long and one long, just try to do long things, then... Like shading it? Yeah. Okay. Now, get the margin. Forget about one liner for a second. Why? I want to show you something. Liner is very, very, very hard. Wait to see how easy to do this with the pendulum I want to shade. First of all, try somewhere else, only to understand how it works. The pendulum. There you go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Smart. Hey. Look how beautiful it is. Oh yeah, that's a... Ooh, with Wee. Turbo Easy, right? Because it's holding in the skin. And look at the amount of shading you do now. Look how beautiful every single line is straight. And that's how easy to do with Magnum. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> yes. So, when you master one line, absolutely everything is easy. That's crazy. Yeah. You can't even see it now. You don't see it. That's the whole point. Don't you worry about it. Hold on. Let me give you an image for a second. Let me see something. There you go. Try because you kind of ride the needle. I say so. It's perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. 
Ayan. You know how people say right here? Hmm. He's a good teacher. He was a great teacher. Oh, yeah, I don't even know what people are saying. No, me neither. I was just looking at I don't have a clue who's saying what and where. There you go. You can end the Instagram one too if you want, or if you want to keep it on. Yours? I can end it. Show it to me on my end. This is like butter. Like, what the f? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. You learn shading today, darling. And you're good at it. By the end of the day, in two, one hour, I'll teach you how to do shading. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Okay? Yes, ma'am. And now, you go like this. Cross hatching and guess what? Yeah, it's crazy. You happy? I see you smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Can you turn your lights? Yeah. You wanna take a break for a second? I don't know mm -hmm. do, do you, I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Mm. Just do you. I don't know anything. Just take a break, take a break. Take a break, chill your lights, you can talk for two seconds. Oh, it is off? Huh? It is off? Uh you can turn it off, I don't know. Yes, you can take your clothes off. YouTube guys, we're gonna come back later, if not tomorrow. Make sure you follow my channel. She's gonna have her own channel soon, and we're gonna keep doing this every day. Who wants to learn? Oh, I'm gonna get you one of those. Sorry, I, I don't something. I'm gonna get you one of those. I don't know. Actually, I have a few of those. Okay. Yeah. Alright, guys. Bye. Bye. Guys, thank you so much, YouTube too, everybody. We're gonna be back later tomorrow for sure. More live videos and different approach. If you wanna learn how to tattoo, I, whatever I teach her, you can 